he has a sense of urgency. I mean, I really want to make something happen quickly. Um, and I don't care about party labels at all. Brad Ashford says partisan politics led to the government shutdown, a major talking point of his campaign. That is legislative negligence at its, at its highest levels. Political ads attacking Ashford's opponent, Republican Lee Terry, have hammered Terry nice on gridlock in Washington. Knowledge. Lee Terry isn't 16 years long enough. He's damaged the political system in this congressional district. He's damaged uh, how we're viewed as a, as a, as a city and, a, and an area. Ashford defends his time in the unicameral. He's been the Judiciary Committee chairman for eight years and is most proud of his work to help reform the state's juvenile justice system. It, but it's not me. The thing about the unicameral is that when we pass those juvenile justice bills, and there are six or seven of them that kind of um, comprise the, the, um, uh, the total package, I don't believe by the time they actually got to a vote, I don't think we ever had a no vote. If voters send him to Washington, Ashford says he'll look for political allies interested in similar issues. I really mean it. It's finding 25 friends and uh, trying to build coalitions around issues that are of interest to this district. He says Congress needs to pass a clear renewable energy policy to help Nebraska tap its wind resources. Ashford also supports a minimum wage increase and believes the nation needs comprehensive immigration reform. Because we have 50,000 or so undocumented immigrants. So how do we deal with that on a statewide basis without guidance from the federal government? And if those issues don't come up, Ashford says okay. he has a plan. Is I want to vote on the big stuff. Uh, you know, if I tell people that if they're, they're if we can't get a bill on a big issue, I'm going to sit there and vote anyway. I do a pretend vote. I mean, because they they really don't vote.